Good afternoon. This is Chris Haynes coming to you on this Tuesday, August 25th from the First United Methodist Church here in lovely downtown Lexington, Tennessee. Hope that your week is off to a good start and you're having a good day today. Uh, today for our devotional moment, I wanted to uh, continue reading for you some verses from the 12th chapter of Paul's letter to the Romans in the New Testament. So listen to these verses that remind us how to act toward one another uh, from Romans chapter 12 verses 9 to 21. Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal, be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. No, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. For by doing this, you will heap burning coals on their heads. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. This is the word of the Lord for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Today we have a number of folks that we are remembering in prayer today, and if you have any others that you would like to add, we ask that you do that in the comments so that we can hold them in our hearts and community as well. Today we are praying for Dorothy Kyle, Gary Jackson, Hannah Rauschenberger, Jamie Alkins, Jarita Phelps, Kay Simpson, Kenneth Gillum, Maxine McNatt, Paul Morris, our school staff and administrators, Slater Hollis, Stephanie McCoy, Charles White Sr., Danny Skates, Thomas Blankenship, and Tom Riney. I ask that you join with me as we go to God in prayer. O oh God, Holy Spirit, come to us and among us. Come as the wind and cleanse us. Come as the fire and burn. Come as the dew and refresh. Convict, convert, and consecrate many hearts and lives to our great good and to your greater glory. All this we ask for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Together we pray for the people of our congregation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who suffer and those in trouble. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who strive for justice in our world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all workers, especially those who are doing the work of education and health care, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our government leaders, national, state, and local, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the church universal, its leaders, its members, and its mission, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for the communion of the saints, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As children of God, we unite in praying the prayer that Jesus himself has taught us as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Hope you have a wonderful rest of the day today. Look forward to talking with you tomorrow. Bye-bye.